Yeah, I clicked on the bed and it it's said like you're doing. It's like you're doing. Night. It's like you're doing backstroke kind of in the ground, <laughs> except you're really dark. Hey, you should you should you should go into the the sugar cane area and, and go swimming. And you're just facing one direction too. Oh my god. <laughs> Oh my god, it is like you're swimming. It'll it'll be it'll you're you're actually counted um to explain the the glitch. You're actually counted as sleeping in the bed right now. Um, yeah, it was the, telling me it was occupied after I tried to sleep in which that is Brandon quote and Yeah, which one, one? Which, which one are you? Middle? I can only sleep at night. Am I laying down now? Yes, you yes, are. You're now laying down. Wait, walk around. <laughs> oh my god, yeah, you are. So you two are both counted as being in the beds, but yeah, they fix this soon. Oh, you're flopping around like a fish. Flop. <laughs> you're doing that perfectly. Yeah, when you get in the water, it looks like you're doing backstroke. Hello everyone, I hope you enjoyed that little weird glitch <laughs> that we were showcasing last night. Um, it's very interesting. Um, anyway, yeah, over the last couple of days, we've made a lot of progress. Um, triple chests are a thing. If you click on the middle one here, then you can open it up. The GUI is broken, but it still works just fine. And I got music discs. Creepers, man. Uh, creepers and skeletons. Uh, and I just have my little room down this little hole that uh, Brandon dug. Anyway, um, so we've got the, the triple chests, right? Uh, I also discovered this. The I didn't discover it, but um, this is something that Zisto used in Minecraft with trapdoors called the log elevator. So I'm right up against the wall, right? If I come out and try to step back in, the door stops me. So if you open the door, you step in, you close the door. And now what you do if you log out, put this, uh, and log back in, you will be up top. That's what it does. The game says this person's in a block, they can't spawn there, and puts them up top. It's interesting. Um, I'm not sure why it works. Why that's in the code like that, but it works. Anyways, uh, we've got a bunch of small temporary farms here. Um, the area is cleared out. My brother did that. He built it out of crafting tables to annoy Tiny, and he made it say the game to annoy me. Um, so there's up there is where spawn is. Um, so basically, you come down from spawn and then step into the valley. And so my brother also built that. That's his house, I, I suppose. So there's a lot of space for builds here. Um, and we're going to start on that soon, probably this weekend or something like that. Anyway, let me show you how to make triple chests while that's still sort of on my mind. So what you do, let's say you want the corner of the triple chest, you want the one that accesses both of them right here. Okay, so you place a chest right here, you can place another chest right there. Now what you need to do is you need to place flowing water. You can actually have a source block here too and it will still work, but if you have the, the water flowing, then you can pick your water back up. And then you just place a, another chest in there. And it's a functioning triple chest. See? GUI is broken, but you can still put items in there. Um, and that, I'm not sure why that works either, but that gets fixed in beta 1.5. So we're going to use that while we can. So I think that about catches everybody up. I'm gonna go see if anyone else wants to do something. Uh, so I will cut the video and we'll resume when that happens. Uh, yay! Yay! <laughs> okay, <laughs> so I'm here with Tiny, and uh, what we're gonna do is we're going to uh, make the path from spawn to our little spawn plot area a bit nicer. Um, and what we're gonna end up gonna gonna end up doing is making this into sort of a cliffside and that's oh keep taking full damage i see that you broke your helmet no that's probably boring oh, to right. commentate no it's fine no it's fine look because i have this oh you've got a crafting table 
Anyway, mm-hmm. we've we've got Marth up there who's who can who can record it all remotely and we can have a, a sweet time lapse. I think it turned out pretty nicely. Um, oops. Oh, I hit the fog key. So now I'm on normal render distance. Now I'm on small. Now I'm on tiny. Can't see a thing. All right, let's turn that back up to far. <laughs> so this is the, uh, I guess, the, the spawn cliff thing with the, the pool. Um, so I think it turned out pretty well. Doesn't look completely natural, but it looks looks okay. I think I'm gonna add symmetrical staircases starting off on the sides and then going up into the mountain at some point. I think those will look nice. And the road is going to lead off from here to spawn. Uh, we can manage to get our way up here. Um, that's a slime chunk bacon marked. Um, because I guess I guess we're gonna try and farm slimes. Um, bit early because we don't have sticky pistons yet, but never hurts to be prepared. And so yeah, I, I plan on smoothing. Hello, gray sheep. I plan on smoothing this area out a little bit, so you don't have to use the ladders. You can just walk. Um, you can just do a nice gradual walk, and then see the scope of what spawn will look like once we get a little bit more done. You know. <laughs> So, so far it's it's kind of empty, <laughs> um, and I do have a moon logo down there uh, because lol server references. And I also made it so you can jump off. Mix outside. Uh, you can jump off at the last possible moment, going as fast as you can in the beta versions and still land in the water. So it's safe. Um, in other news, I have tested the scope of logout evaders a bit more, and I have discovered that there's essentially no limit 
how they work. The game doesn't decide, you know what, we shouldn't place them, you know, 100 blocks higher than they were. Uh, so you can log out right here and get up on top of the mountain. And now we're above cloud level. Uh, it'll take a bit for the world to render back in, but it's neat. Uh, this is actually the mountain I film my opening with the sun and or moon um, rising. So, and yeah, you can get a pretty good look of it from over here. I think it looks nice. And there is a lot of space to build. So I'm hoping spawn will end up being epic. Um, I am pretty confident that it will be. Um, I have confidence in the building skills of my friends, which may be a mistake. Who knows? <laughs> I'm kidding. Um, ouch, I hurt myself. <laughs> anyway, I think that's going to about do it for today. Next episode, I'm probably going to build the tree farm somewhere over there, probably near spawn, because the first thing you want to do when you spawn into a world is punch some trees. Shut up, cow. I'll kill you, too. <laughs> anyway, so that's going to do it. Um, yeah, I got nothing else to say. Have a good one.